everyone, my name is Old Master, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. We're entering the Imperial Estate. Alright, let's do this. As you approach the steps to your home, you suddenly have a terrifying premonition that not all is well. The guards standing before your home salute you as you approach. Welcome back, Madame Fiori. Your father entered a short while ago, ordering that none were to pass the doors to the estate, not even you. But, if truth be told, I do not think the magistrate has been himself of late, and he had a strange expression on his face. To be honest, I'm a bit worried about him. Madame Fiori, will you enter the estate and make sure your father is alright? We have been hearing strange noises from within and fear that not all is well. Yeah, I will. Just. Your words are brought to a halt as you notice a strange red medallion lying near your feet. You stoop down to pick it up. Now, what could this be? Suddenly, you see a small puff of smoke rise from the steps of your home and the feeling of dread grows even stronger. You feel a brisk intake of wind surround you and find yourself knocked to the ground as a giant ball of fire erupts from the manor, assuredly killing anyone inside, including your father. Just as you feel yourself slipping into unconscious, you weakly manage to gaze up towards the ruined doors of your home. The last sight to meet your eyes before darkness overcomes you completely is that of the Crimson Prophet emerging from the fire wreckage, his eyes burning like flaming embers. You attempt to speak, though your efforts are in vain. The Crimson Prophet looks upon you with a soulless gaze, but you no longer see him as you succumb to the darkness which surrounds you. Well, my father's dead, and I'm probably captured now. Through the fog of darkness, you hear a sinister voice speak. I take it your meeting did not go as planned, Master? Indeed it did not, and Magistrate Ochorus Twill has paid the price for it. He was a fool not to heed my warning. It matters not. I do not need Ochorus' aid for this task. We will simply have to take matters in our own hands. If Garak must fall in fire and blood, so be it. The assault on the city has begun, and all shall tremble at the terrible might of the followers of the Crimson Path. Soon, my faithful, we shall stand victorious. Now, I have other affairs I must attend to in the city. That what was stolen from us must be recovered at all costs. Rocco was a fool to think he could ever stand against me. And what to the magistrate's child? What shall we do with her? Leave me alone, please. You feel the burning eyes of the Crimson Prophet turn upon you. Rid me of this nuisance. Let the entire line of Twill perish, as a lesson to all who would stand against us. As you wish, Master, your word is my command. Now be quick about it. You and your men must join the others in raising the city to the ground. Leave none alive. Let all who stand by the Shirokan Empire be consumed by the flames of war. As a Crimson Prophet weaves a spell to carry him away, your eyes open weakly to the sight of one of his fanatical followers standing above you, a massive axe held high above your head. Child of Ochre's Twill, I take your life to the glory of the Crimson Prophet. You steer yourself for the blow of the axe, but it never comes. Just as the Crimson Follower prepares to bring his weapon down upon your neck, a crossbow bolt suddenly bursts through his throat, killing him instantly. Marquis Albright, a man you, you well know from the Market District, come rushing forward in full plate, his crossbow still in hand. By Raka's will, you will not lay another hand upon that girl. Fury, get back. Get to safety. You shall not meet your ends at the hands of the Crimson Prophet. Dropping his crossbow to the side, the armored man unsheaths a massive greatsword and turns to the Crimson Followers. Come, foul serpents. Come to your death. I'm gonna help you! Oh, you take more than one hit. That's new. Come on. There we go. Um, how did you find me? Yes, hello to you. Marcius wears the mark of concern as you approach. The man extends his help to help you stand straight as your knees buckle slightly from the stress of all that happened in the last few moments. Are you alright, Fury? Can you stand? Shake the confusion from your mind. Marcius, Marcius Albright? Yes, it is I, Fury. Take a moment to recover your wits, for you seem to have been through a terrible ordeal. Suddenly it all comes back to you. Your father's word expression, the strange medallion, the explosion of your father's estate. My father is dead, isn't he? Marcius gr nods grimly, and you notice an expression of sorrow upon his face. Yes, Fiori, I believe he is. There's little left of the Imperial Estate. There's no way he could have survived. Judging from what I have seen here, it seems Crisp Crimson Prophet has orchestrated this attack against your family, and now he sends his legions to destroy Garak once and for all. Why would the Crimson Prophet kill my father? The Crimson Prophet likely saw your father as an ideal target, for his motives have always been to strike chaos into the heart of the Shurukan Empire. Remain silent. The followers of the Crimson Prophet have begun an invasion into Garak, and you will be assured that those fanatics will not stop until all within the city are dead. It is imperative that you reach a place of safety, Fury, and I may be able to help you in this manner. I refuse to cower from this threat. Your bravery is to be commended, Fury, but the Crimson Prophet is a powerful man. Courage alone will not give you the strength to fight against his might. In time, you may be able to stand against the Prophet, but to do so, you will need to survive. I would like to ensure that you do so. 
I'd like to take you to my ship, the Voyager, waiting at the docks of the city. There, I believe you will be safe from danger, at least until I have time to reach, or time to figure out how best to keep you out of harm's reach. Uh, would you allow me to accompany you to the Voyager Fury? Yeah, I would like you to come with me. I have a feeling this might not end well. Yeah, this might not end well. Let's help them take out as many as we can. Oh boy. You notice the smoke moving surrounding the Emperor's rocket statue is moving against the wind, perhaps from an unseen flow of air. As you inspect the statue closer, you feel a small, a cool draft of air brushing against your face. You kneel, a small opening just, but so I just crawled into it, into it, a hole. You seem to stumble upon some sort of secret passage underneath the Imperial District. Let's recover this trap. Nice. Okay, now we gotta be careful because there, where there's one trap, there's many traps. I want to pick the left door. And let's just recover all of the traps. Okay. Okay, cool. So it wouldn't have mattered either way. Yeah. We're just going to be very careful going through this because I don't think I have enough healing stuff on me. You gently raise yourself up the rope. Imperial Grand Hall. Oh, hello, friends. That's where that trap door went to. Okay, well, that's a first. I think these are already. Oh, no. Did I. Did I not empty everything out from these? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> oh, well. We do not have time for this. Bad things are happening. Oh boy. I think doing it this way, though, we missed a lot of the followers. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, Marcius and I could take them on pretty well. They're not dropping any... anything, really. The control chamber seems to be quiet, too quiet. You see the dead body of the high sorcerer, Zerum Ling, as well as a man trapped in a magical field. This man, one of the two men you saw speaking to your father shortly before his death, appears to be trapped within a strange globe of energy emitted by the control stone. His eyes slowly move towards yours. Marcius. Marcius, is that you? I can scarcely see a thing for this magical shield. Yes, Harkin, I'm here, along with Fiori Twill. I managed to save her, but I fear I was too late to save Ocarus. Fiori Twill, you're alive. I, I heard what happened to your father, and I suppose you was, I assumed you met the same fate. Uh, I'm fine, although my father was not so lucky. You see a rather strange expression pass over the man's face, one that almost resembles relief. That is sad news, lass, but there's no time to grieve for the dead at the moment. Yeah, he was the one trying to take over, wasn't he? I'm Harkin, a high sorcerer of the Sharkin Empire. I was hearing Garrick to trace the movements of the foul being known as the Crimson Prophet. A smoldering anger seems to lighten Harkin's eyes, but the Prophet has bested me. He has used the magic of the control, so control stone to trap me in this cage. How can I free you from this prison? You will need to somehow stop the sorcerer of the control stone. I could easily master its power if I were free, but my current situation complicates matters. Seems you, you will have to deal with the stone, Fury. From what I know of it, the control stone is operated by a rather simple conjuration phase, which calls power forth. However, to utilize its magic, you will also need to bypass its runes of protection. However, I know neither the conjuration word nor the method of deactivating its defenses. Perhaps you should find... Take a look around and see what you can find, or you can simply try and crush the pedestals operating the stone. Uh, I'll see what I can do. So I should take a look around. Maybe there's something in the sorcerer. I'm, I'm sorry to have looted your corpse, sir. I found myself 
thinking a great deal about my mother in the past few days. I believe the little homeless girl I saw in the market district the other day. Um, oh boy. S reciting an old poem. The boy to the right has nine cakes. The one on my left only has one. I'm so hungry I've got the shakes, but the boys don't share and I have none. Huh. This is beyond me. I can't do this. I don't really want to destroy the pedestals. Chancellor Verhun's letter. Chancellor, I write in response to your plea with Kurt Dilemma. You and I both have a great to see the rule of magistrate to end the rule of magistrate ochre as a thorn on both our sides. I have devised a plan in which we may rid ourselves of the magistrate once and for all. One we should dis Oh boy. So I plotted to kill my father. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could have used that as evidence. Yeah. Corpse pile. Wand of fear. Oh no. Oh wait. Servant's corpse. Choking powder. Okay. Am I learning how these things died? Also, is there a way to know what I need to do? You stop your shenanigans. We should actually probably rest soon. Escape from Garrick. Yeah, but I wanted to fix the yeah. control stone. Ledger 13, the control stone. Uh, activated the simple arcane phrase, Malak no Novak is all that's required to summon forth the stone's power. Um... Only he can give you the proper combinations to get through. I think it's something to do with the nine. There's nine to my left. L n or what was it? To the right has nine, to the left has one. How many pedestals are they? Are there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's unhelpful. Well, I'm just gonna bash these. I'm getting shocked a little bit, but not that bad. This seems to be working in some odd fashion. Good idea, it doesn't help me. Come on, Marcus. Or do I just have to do this all myself? Here we go. This one, and then last one. Uh, you sense the stone's power. Suddenly, you notice. Oh, I do believe anyone's leaving this chamber. So you have lowered the control stone's shield. Quite clever, you last, but it matters not. I've retrieved what I came for. The prophet holds forth a black jewel, red flame dancing along its smooth surface. Harkin slowly turns. Harkin slowly turns his head. You shall not take that gem, prophet. By Raka's name, I swear it. Raka holds no power over me, petty sorcerer. No, I believe there's little you can do to stop me. And ensure you and ensure you bother me no further. I believe you shall have met my followers. Finish them, followers of the Crimson Path. Show them, show these fools what fate lies in store for those who stand in the way of the Crimson Prophet. Oh, can I can I attack you? Nope, he disappeared. Okay. Wow. These guys are really, uh, powerful. My friends are really powerful. We need to go in here. I like how there's electricity noise, but no electricity anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not worried about the chest. Oh, okay. Gold pieces. Healing. 
healing and a giant battle axe that I will probably never use. Is there a trap? There's a trap. There's always a trap. Oh! Um, enchanted mage's robe. Enchanted studded leather armor. En enchanted long sword. And slasher. Um, I have a feeling this. Nope, that's actually not better. That's weird. Okay. Let's go recover this trap. Because that's all I seem to do. Even though I never set the traps and I just have to throw them away. Uh, and then unlock. So Marquis doesn't bash it because that se seems to be what he tends to do. We're going to rest real quick. Heal up. Well, let's uh, see if we can... By the way, I tried to get out before and it wouldn't let me get out. So let's see if I can actually get out of here now and go to the market district. Because that would be nice. <laughs> I would like to escape this place. This place is not a good place. Ah, okay. There are a lot of you guys. Maybe that's why we got upgraded armor and stuff. I totally equipped him with um, with the enchanted uh, axe. So he seems to be actually doing pretty good damage now. Come on, last one. Alright, so we're alive. Looks like the Shadow Guard have gathered. I must speak with them. Please join us at the gates of the Market District. Well, I was trying to figure out where that is. This, yeah, this area was blocked off before. Harkin! Oh, boy. What? We have little time. Oh, boy. Yes. Hello to you. Kara, what news do you carry of the mar our market district? How's it fared in this battle? <gasps> Kara! Not well, I'm afraid. All of Garak seems poised to fall to the Crimson Prophet's followers. Marcius, we must get to the Voyager quickly. The docks have not been overrun yet, but it's only a matter of time. What of the Crimson Prophet? Has he been sighted in the market yet? Yes, the Prophet appeared a short time ago, making his way towards the docks. I believe he's attempting to make his escape from Garak. Marcus, we do not have time to tarry here. I need the Shadow Guard's aid to stop the Prince of Prophet before it's too late. He must not escape the city with that jewel he took from the treasury. Fury is good you have come. Garak is in grave danger. Uh, most of the city lies in ruins. A few main remain alive to defend the walls. On all sides, Garak is beset by enemies, the Crimson followers from within, and barbarian hordes from without. Garak is doomed. Um, I will go with you to your ship. Very well then. And I'm going to leave this episode here. So, city's in trouble, and I'm running away. But I will come back, and I will defeat the Prince of Prophet. So, thanks everyone for tuning in. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll figure out why the Prince of Prophet just... How I'm alive, honestly. Bye!